This is a video to show you how to use Kami to help you do all your distance learning stuff at home. So Kami is a really neat program where some of you might have access to a printer and that's awesome so you can print off the stuff I'm giving you. Some of you might not. And Kami comes in really handy because you can literally write on the document on your computer and since you all have Chromebooks and their touch screen, it is very helpful. So when you go to cami.com or just search cami on, on Google, this is the page you're going to come to. So you're going to hit the button that says login or sign up with Google. And it should take you to a page that pulls up any of your Google accounts. So you want to go to your school email address. It might have you put in some personal information or something, but it shouldn't be too much. So from there, you're going to have a page that looks like this. So what you're going to want to do every time I post something, so for example, on that distance learning page that I shared with you, every one of these blue underlined activities is a link. So let's say you want to do this practicing frequency calculation. So when you click it, you open it up. And you're not going to want to write on this one because this is my copy. So if you write, if you type on here, um, everybody's going to see it, right? So you want to go to file and make a copy. And then this is your own copy. You could even maybe put it as your name. So Malin, frequency calculation, blah, blah, blah. Hit OK. And it's going to save to your drive. <coughs> when you go back to Cami. You are going to go to open from Google Drive. And then you are going to look for that document you just created. So for you, that'll be in your drive. You're not going to have as many folders as I do, most likely. So it'll probably be down here in your drop down. For me, I have to go to my biology folder. And open it up. So once you get here, the cool thing about Cami is that you can either type on your document or you can write on your document. In this case, this is the video I've already done for you where I wrote all over it. So to do that, all you're going to do is use this sidebar of tools and if you click this T over to the side you can type on the document and change all the fonts so you could say hi I'm Miss Marilyn and this is my or you can write on it and I usually just use my finger so if you click this little paintbrush icon there's a bunch of colors that come up if you click the little wheelhouse, it lets you pick your own colors. And if you click one of the colors, it gives you some options. When you click the paintbrush again, it closes it. But that's what lets you draw all over the screen. I usually use my finger. If you have a stylus, you could use that too. But basically, that's all you're going to do. If you do something and you want to change it, up at the top, if, after a few seconds, this little undo button comes up and it lets you undo everything you want to undo, which is really nice. So that gives you the option. You can mark things up. There's highlighters. There's you can draw shapes. You can write equations. Can be super nice so that you can edit your docs at home and then submit them to your teacher. So once you finish this doc, what you would do, let's pretend I'm going to type this is finished assignment. So then you're going to go up to the top and you're going to click download and then you are going to want to download a pdf with annotations and you can even either save that to your computer or i would just save it to your drive and then you're going to want if it's something you're turning in like we said before make sure it's something you put your name on so in case something happens i know whose it is how many pages you want um, we just need the annotated pages you can even select a folder you want it to go into and begin your export and it's going to save your document to 
your drive. And then you are going to just go onto Google Classroom and then save that document to the post I made with the assignment. Hope this helps.